Make sure you are charging enough money to deliver the level of service that you believe that you require to keep you happy. Good morning and welcome to In The Car With Clint. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen one lately, but I've been away for a couple of days um, for work. It's all good. Not too much time relaxing. I had a lot of time to think about stuff. And I've come to this conclusion, resolution, understanding that in the pursuit uh, to grow our uh, company to $100 million, we've got caught up in winning a lot of work at very low margin. And it's the nature of the beast, you know, the more they spend, the better it gets. And it's got to a point now where we are unable to deliver the levels of service that we have traditionally been known for uh, because the, for those jobs or those customers because there's no margin in it. It's just not worth it. And if you are not charging enough for what you are worth, then you start to resent your customer. And the problem is, it's not your customer's fault. It's your fault because you're an idiot. Well, I'm an idiot. Um, and you get so caught up in the chase and you win the work and then you have to deliver it. And if anyone's been following the seven C's of sales, the care part, it matters. So now I'm calculating and I'm going, well, we need to pull back a little bit so that we can move forward. And I'll use the analogy of a car revving in first to, with Matt a little earlier today. Water Pro Railways, uh, Lawn Hub, the Hectagon Group are in first gear, revving off its tits, to use the term that the kids used to use back in the day. And if we keep going at this capacity, the engine's going to blow. So what we need to do is put the clutch in, for those of you that uh, remember what a clutch is, change into second gear, and then have a more moderate rev. Now, what that'll do is it will enable us to calm down, only work with customers that fit the triangle of happiness, bank some money, so that then we can buy our next locations or acquire our next businesses and continue to grow the business. Those high turnover, low margin deals are good sometimes, but eventually it puts strain on your people and on your business and on your bank account, and it's just not worth it. And it doesn't matter how many conditions you might put into, um, you know, a contract with a client saying that, you know, you, you will not do this, you will not do that, you will not do this. The reality is the customer service levels that we offer and the things that we do for our customers are part of our DNA. And there's nothing we can do to be selective around who gets that service and who doesn't. It's just not in us. We can't do it. Um, if we do, do do that and we start treating everyone equally, eventually all of the good customers will go and we will be left with a bunch of low margin customers that do not pay their bills on time and treat us like shit. We put the 12 immutable laws in place for a reason. The triangle of happiness is there for a reason. So we're making a change. And it might not be a change that our clients see straight away, but the people that have been buying from us at very low margin and very high turnover might start to become less of a percentage of our business um, which will be music to the ears of any of our competitors that are listening to this um, and could dramatically change the market <clears throat> and the sad thing is when there's a monopoly on a market, which might occur if we remove ourselves from certain segments of the market, the prices are going back up. And as a customer, if you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing your suppliers to a point where eventually they decide that they don't want to do business with you anymore, you might get the inverse of what you were expecting. And now you'll be paying more for stuff because you've broken the system. So I just wanted to put that on wax as they say in the, I don't know what industry, but it sounded cool when I said it, probably didn't. That uh, I have um, had some thought around the way that I want to run my business and that we're going to be more intentional about what we do and who we do it with. 
and I believe that that's going to be the key for us to grow from what is now a 12 million dollar company into the hundreds of millions of dollars because I now know the recipe I just have to bake those cakes put them in the oven so the downside if you live in any other state of Australia where we do not exist is we are coming and we're coming sooner than you might think because that's the recipe be kind to each other talk to you soon Thank you.